16. That's how close I am. I am so close that I can actually taste it. If you want to know what I'm talking about, stay tuned to the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. As you heard in that intro, I am 16 issues away from completing my partial run of Amazing Spider-Man. Yes, I am trying to do the entire run, 1 through 801. That is the goal. But as they say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So what I've decided to do is to actually chunk out my focus uh, so that I can actually take down this elephant in a smart manner. And so what I've opted to do is to actually focus on the first part of the overall run. And so I am really focused on one issue one through 261. That's where my focus is. And from that run, I am only missing 16 books getting so close <laughs> that I can't believe it. And uh, I want to show you. Here's the list. This is it. 16 books. It's not that many books away. I'm missing 3, 4, 5, 9, 13, 17, 18, 23, 38, 39, 46, 48, 51, 101, 187, and 2 27. That's it. That's all that I'm missing from the first part of my run. And possibly by the time you see this video, I will be even closer than I am right now. And as you probably noticed, there were two columns on this thing. I've actually decided to actually write down the annuals that I need to buy because I have been buying doubles and in some cases triples of the exact same annual issue because I did not have a list. And I know that this is low tech but it actually works. It works for me. And so I am going to continue doing it. So right now I'm missing 16 from uh, the, the first part of the overall run and I'm missing eight from the annuals. I think between like one and 25 or 28 or something like that, I'm only missing eight issues. So getting closer and closer. And I'm going to give a huge shout out to one of the subscribers of the channel who actually reached out to me based upon one of my recent videos. And he asked me what issues I was missing, how many I was missing. We were able to work out a deal and I actually picked up three books from him. One from the first part of the run and then two annuals that I want to show you right now. So the first book is a really cool book. The first two, in fact, um, are yellow covers. And you guys know that I love a, a yellow cover. So the first one is King Size Amazing Spider-Man number eight featuring the Shocker. Definitely a really cool book here. This is actually a 64, 64 page book, square bound. And what you'll notice here is that uh, what should be on the side of the book is actually on the top of the book. And that's not because the, the square bound wrap has actually been compressed. It's simply a bad wrap. And so what should be on this spine is actually pulled to the front, neither here nor there because the book is actually in solid shape and it has its square shape, as you might be able to see. Hopefully, you'll be able to see that. Really, really nice book in great shape. Definitely pleased to have this one off the list and in the collection. The next book that I want to show you is another annual. It is uh, number 17, featuring some wall crawling action there and also a really great yellow cover. Definitely a cool book. Again, definitely pleased to have that one in the collection. And then shifting gears to the regular Amazing Spider-Man, this one is Amazing Spider-Man 115 featuring a super gangster Aunt May. She is pointing a gun at her nephew and is threatening to shoot him. She says, stay back, Spider-Man. I warn you, if you take one more step towards that poor man, that poor man being Doc Ock, basically, I'm going to fire, she says. So she probably won't hit him, but still. Um, with this issue, there's uh, some kind of vertical, um, I don't know what that is, whether it's a, a scratch or something like that, but I want to actually try to clean the book to see if I may be able to improve the appearance of this. Overall, the book is in solid shape, but it does have this, this little line there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. And again, we'll see whether we can actually improve the appearance of that, but definitely please to have these three books in the collection. So that's 
my my haul of amazing spider-man books but before i let you go i want to actually give you guys an opportunity to add a really cool book to your own collection thanks to my relationship with go collect i am pleased to give you an opportunity to add an awesome slab to your collection this is a cool book i'm gonna just be honest with you it's a cool book Thankfully, I own two copies of this, so I'm not as jealous as I have been over the past couple of weeks giving away books that I don't even own, but I absolutely want. And so I have this one, so I'm not as jealous, uh, but hopefully you guys will like this book because I think it's a really cool one. And it is a hot book right now. It's getting a lot of attention because they are turning this into a movie. And the book that I'm talking about Eternals number one. Some Jack Kirby goodness. This is a um, 9.2 white pages. Fantastic book. I cannot wait to see this one on the silver screen. And I'm definitely pleased to have copies of this. And this one could be yours as well. So all you have to do is in the um, community tab, head over there. You find the link where I'm talking about, or the post where I'm talking about this book. You click the link for MailChimp, you go to MailChimp, and you basically plug in three pieces of information. Your your screen name, your email address, and the response from the video. The response that I want you to plug in is Icarus. Icarus is the phrase that you have to plug into the MailChimp website to enter into the contest. Relatively straightforward to do it. And if you can't find the community tab, go to the description in this video and you will be able to find some directions on how to find the community tab. So if you do that, you'll be in the running. You tune into the Ready, Set, Go preview show, which airs on Sunday at 7.30 Pacific time. And you will find out if you are indeed the winner of this awesome book. We simply ask that you be a resident of the United States, a resident of Canada, or or have a mail-in address in the U.S. to enter into the contest. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do so so that you can stay abreast of all the cool stuff that I do here, including giveaways like this. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at ReggieCollects on Instagram and ReggieCollects at gmail.com. Take care.